All right, here's the crap with the styrofoam. And first I'm gonna find a picture that I wanna write. I'm gonna to try to write a sea turtle and I'm gonna use a pencil, all right? I'm gonna use a pencil and I'm gonna to try to write, let's see, this is about the shape of kind of like a, hmm, kind of like this shape. All right, I'm just gonna estimate. And then here's his head, kind of like that. And then his feet are like that. And then there's another one here. And his shell is kind of like that. And it kind of goes around. There's like marks on his shell. That's not too bad. And then here's a, I think that's a little, that could be his tail back there. And there's another foot from the other side. And there's his eye. And his eye looks like that. And then his, he has like a, his mouth has like a sharp beakiness to it. Oh, it's not like a bird, but it, 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 it is sharp. It's like a, like a tooth there, kind of like a tooth. That looks pretty good. And then he has some decorations on himself like that. So what am I doing? I'm pushing down with my pencil and I, I could make some more marks under here like this. It looks kind of like, all right, so now I'm, what I'm doing is I'm gonna push down with my pencil a little bit more and I'm gonna really, that was just my, the first time I did it was very light. All right, so the first time I did it, it was very light. Now I'm gonna push down harder but not too hard. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna break through to the other side, but what I wanna do is I wanna make an indentation into my styrofoam so that when I do the next part, it's gonna show up. So I'm looking at his feet still. And he has some kind of decorations on his legs. You can try this with me. You can kind of slow down the video and pause it and try little steps. And then pause the video and then turn it back on again. And we're just gonna put like little decorations on his feet and then some more like little markings on his legs just to make it look kind of decorative. All right, and some markings on his face, little circles like he has, like he has some so there is my sea turtle. I could even, now I don't want to write anything else. Now I'm going to get my markers out. Be right back. All right, I have my markers. I'm going to start coloring him any colors I want. So I'll put a little bit of purple in here. And then maybe I'm going to put a little bit of red. I'm gonna really color him up. Uh, maybe some blue. Then I'm gonna put maybe some yellow. And look, when I when I mix my blue and my yellow, what happens? It turns what? It turns like a green. Look at that. Look at that. You can try that. See that? Now let's make his eye a little darker. Let's put, let's do brown, maybe brown for his eye. And then maybe we're gonna even trace him on the outside like that. Uh, like away from the lines like we want to go like outside of the lines now let's go on the flat part of the styrofoam let's trace it like that all right and then let's do i'm going to put some more um some more purple over here because i really want the ink the ink of my marker is very important that it's that it's dark all right, in order for this print to work, okay? Now let's now let's do the water. Let's see, what do I got here? 
some water. I don't have any. Oh, yeah, I do have a light blue. Hold on. Look at this. I have a turquoise. All right, watch this. I'm going to do this blue because it kind of matches the blue of the water. You could be doing this with me while I'm doing mine. You could be coloring yours. All right. Nice. All right. And now if we even want to put some, some extra, extra dark blue, we can go like this. Maybe around the edges. I'll show you why I'm doing all this because it'll look nicer when I do my print. All right. So I'm going to actually put a little bit of more blue over here. A little more blue here. All right, now we're gonna do the next step. Okay, look what I brought. I have a tiny little bowl of water and a sponge. I have to dip this sponge and wring it out. Oh, and you don't wanna spill it all over the place like I just did, but anyway. Then you wanna wet the paper, not too much. But you do want to wet the paper, and the harder the paper, the thicker the paper, the better. In, in fact, even if you had a piece of cardboard, okay, you have to wet the paper. And then, watch what happens. You turn this over, and you press it down. If you don't wet the paper, it won't work. Press it down. I lift it up. But that is the print. Now you try it. And the great thing about this is you can keep wiping this off. You can wipe it off 100% with a sponge, dry it off, recolor it with the same or different colors, and then keep wetting papers and making prints. Now I want to see you give me a good print. And we are done with this activity. We are now going to watch another science video on birds.